Keith Beavers was raised in Orangeville, Ontario. His parents decided to take advantage of Keith's love for the water and placed him and his older sister Lindsay into competitive swimming with the Orangeville Otters. Two years later, he would begin swimming with the Dorado Stars Swim Club under the guidance of Rob Olenius. Rob instilled in his athletes a strong work ethic that Keith would carry with him his entire career. By age nine, Keith had won his first provincial medals and by age 10, he knew that his dream was to one day represent Canada at the Olympic Games. In 1998, the Dorado Stars hired a new coach, Sylvain Pinot, and Keith's journey towards the top of Canadian swimming began in earnest. Coach Pinot was instrumental in teaching Keith the fine details of racing, training, and mental preparation. He was a really important person in, in, in my career. He came to our club and I was kind of in a transition zone in between uh, just having made a decision to take swimming a little bit more seriously and, you know, making it in international swimming. So he came in at a time when I wasn't exactly sure how to go about being a really good swimmer. And he taught me all the little things, the fine details of swimming, uh, racing strategy, taking care of myself outside of the pool, uh, learning some real mental toughness. He would put me in uh, on Tuesday mornings all by myself into lane two and I'd have to swim 400 flies while everyone else did something easier. Um, you know, things like that, that, uh, that kind of were character builders and uh, gave me an advantage later in my career. At age 16, Keith won his first youth national titles in the 400 meter IM and the 200 meter breaststroke. It was here that he competed for the first time against his Canadian rival and friend, Brian Johns. In 1999, Keith would qualify for his first international team, the Sydney Youth Olympic Festival in 2000. In Australia, he would win his first international medals in the 200 meter IM and the 400 meter IM, as well as the 200 meter breaststroke. The following year, he would gain his first national title in the 400 meter IM at age 18. In 2001, Keith made the decision to attend the University of Waterloo and train with renowned head coach of the Kitchener-Waterloo National Training Centre, Bud McAllister. A little bit in 04 and, and training with Bud, he put me through the most difficult training that year that I've ever done. Even, even after, even though I performed better in, in Beijing, I still think the training that I did in 2003, 2004 was the hardest that I've ever done or ever will do. And um, it, it definitely paid off. I mean, I swam very, very well at the trials. I, I won the 400 IM. I was right on my Canadian record in the 200 backstroke. And, you know, I felt like uh, things were really, really looking good going into Athens. But uh, I slipped and fell um, during the training camp. I bruised my tailbone a week and a half before... Uh, before the event, I couldn't swim breaststroke for about a week because of it. Um, and so that started playing games with my head. I hadn't really figured out how to really rest um, and taper myself. I hadn't fine tuned that yet. And so kind of nothing seemed to fit together. I had all the pieces, but nothing came together uh, for me in Athens. So I made the semifinal of the 200 backstroke, uh, but it was a bit of a disappointment. I, I wanted to make a final and I, I kind of left Athens, uh, you know, disappointed and feeling like I, I hadn't done what I had wanted to do. And I had kind of let myself down and let, uh, you know, the country down a little bit as well, because that's what you're there to do. You're there to perform on a world stage. And I didn't do that. This provided Keith's career with a big step forward as he qualified for both the Commonwealth Games and the Pan Pacific Championships. At the Pan Pacifics in Yokohama, Japan, Keith won a bronze medal, breaking the 200 meter backstroke Canadian record. With Bud McAllister, Keith undertook the most intensive training period of his career in preparation for Athens Olympics. In 2004, Keith achieved his longtime goal, winning the Olympic trials in Etobicoke and securing his spot on the Athens Olympic team. However, he would fall short of his aim of qualifying for the final, settling for 12th in the 200 meter backstroke and 16th in the 400 meter IM. In subsequent years, Keith would compete in two World Championships as well as the Pan Pacific Championships, consistently reaching the semifinals, but a top eight finish on the world stage remained elusive. In 2006, Keith began swimming with coach Dean Bowles in what would become a defining relationship for both of them. 
course, I, I decided that you know I was still going to school. I had some stuff to finish up there uh, with my degree, and I would just continue on with Dean, who was also you know uh, a world class coach. He'd coached Olympians uh, in the past, so um, it worked out really really well for me, just by luck, I guess. Uh, but it ended up ended up being probably the best coach swimmer relationship that I had all the way through. Maybe that's because I was the most mature athlete at that time, but also I think Dean and I really. Uh, worked well together just as a, a pair. He didn't really have time for you if you weren't 100% all in um, and you know for, for better or for worse and I was 100% all in so I took everything that he said um, to heart and I really tried to apply it and and really he was very very hands-off so when I said you know I want to step back from swimming a little bit and get my school stuff done so that come 2008 I'm gonna be ready to go and I'm gonna be fully committed he was like, yep, no problem, 100% on board with it without even, without doubting that decision in any way. Uh, he said, yes, that's exactly what you feel you need to do, so let's do it. So we took 2006 and, and 2007 more as uh, just a preparation time uh, leading into 2008 instead of, okay, let's go to Commonwealth and try and win a medal. Okay, let's go to Worlds and, and try and final there. We said, nope, focus is on Beijing. Let's spend three years preparing for Beijing, getting all your other stuff prepared and set up. And then once 2008 comes around, you can be 100% laser focused on Beijing. And it, it worked out perfectly for us. It was under the guidance of Coach Bowles that Keith rediscovered his passion for the sport and fine-tuned his training to bring his swimming to a new level. In their first year together, Keith was able to lower his Canadian record mark in the 200 meter backstroke for the first time in four years at the Pan Pacific Trials and National Championship. Keith also went on to earn a bronze medal in the 400 meter IM at the Pan American Games the following year. These achievements set the stage for the 2008 Beijing Olympics. The Beijing Olympics would be the most successful meet of Keith's career and the culmination of his nearly 20 years in the sport of swimming. At a successful Olympic trials in Montreal, Keith qualified in three events, winning the 400 meter IM and the 200 meter backstroke, as well as placing second in the 200 meter IM. In Beijing, Keith achieved his goal of swimming in the Olympic finals and placed seventh in the 200 meter IM with a Canadian record. He added a 12th place finish in his 200 meter backstroke with another Canadian record and was ninth in the 400 meter IM in the second fastest time ever by a Canadian those kind of 10 or 15 seconds as I was waiting to, to get on the blocks uh, for the final in Beijing um, between when they, they called my name and when they actually blew the whistle for us to step up and just the, uh, the wave of emotion and satisfaction that kind of swept over me as I stood there and reflected on uh, the past 20 years of my life and every little step and mile and technical change and mourning and meet and everything that had gone into it for those 20 years had all kind of culminated and come together for those 10 or 15 seconds. And, um, you know, it was just uh, up until that point, it was the greatest moment of my entire life. And then I got to go in and, and swim in the Olympic final. So that to me, those 10 or 15 seconds were uh, the most special in a course of 20 years leading up to it. After his success of Beijing, Keith stepped back from his focus on international swimming to complete his master's degree in physiology at the University of Waterloo. Here he seized the opportunity to compete in the CIS for the first time. He took the CIS championship that year in the 200 meter IM, eclipsing the Ontario record for Alex Bowman, which had stood for over 20 years. In that final year, he also competed in the FISU Games in Belgrade, Serbia, where he won the silver medal in the 200 meter IM as well as his first international relay medal in the 4 by 200 meter freestyle. He ended the 2008-9 season, earning CIS Top 8 All-Canadian Academic Honours. Keith made the decision to retire from swimming in the fall of 2009. After coaching for a year with Simon Fraser University, he and girlfriend Laura moved from Vancouver to New Zealand for eight months prior to their wedding. In September of 2011, Keith was married to Laura in Orangeville, just before beginning his physiotherapy training at Queen's University in Kingston. Since 2013, Keith has been working as a registered physiotherapist in Kingston. And in June of 2015, Keith and Laura welcomed their son Eric into the world. 
Keith has remained active in Ontario swimming. He is a current member of the Sport Development Committee of Swim Ontario and is an assistant coach with both the Kingston Blue Marlins and the Queen's Gales. He continues to swim and in 2014 competed in Montreal at the FINA World Masters Championships, winning three events and numerous World Championship and Canadian Masters swimming records. I had the perfect progression of, of coaching, I guess, from the very beginning. I had, I had someone who is uh, a real tough nut at the beginning to teach me, you know, this is what swimming is, get used to it because you're going to be doing it for a while. And then I had another coach that taught me the finer points of it. And then I had uh, someone come in again in Bud McAllister and just hammer me harder than anyone ever has before um, because I had those experiences in the past and I could draw on them and I knew how to do that. And then it took Dean to kind of uh, bring everything out in the end and kind of uh, really dial in exactly how I worked as a swimmer. And it, it was um, basically perfection. The Ontario Aquatic Hall of Fame is proud to induct Keith Beavers as an athlete.